Greetings to you, our viewers and friends who are joining us on 22 Hours channel. Let's follow the last day, hosted news about the security, order and social situation that has occurred during the day, both domestically and internationally. Please join us. Flooding in China is very serious, a tornado of thunder and lightning. Turbo floods are chasing the people of China. But the Chinese Communist Party of Mr. Xi Jinping on the one hand still claims that all Chinese people are safe. The situation is very serious, but we can overcome it. On the other hand, Mr. Xi still called on all 200 countries around the world to donate money and material for China to spend. In addition, Mr. Xi still has China's navy to launch missiles out of the South China Sea to show China's unyielding power to its rivals. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the Daily China newspaper, the god of thunder and lightning are venting their anger, knocking down the power grid. Some big cities such as Shanghai, Shenzhen, Guangdu, Guangxi, including Beijing City, made the capital Beijing fall. Xi Jinping's government is crying on the one hand, but on the other hand, his government is secretly sending warships out to the South China Sea to go to war with all countries in the region. This made the god of thunder and lightning revolt, punishing China for breaking a section of the Three Gorges Dam, which increased the risk of Yangtze Dike failure, making the risk of Three Gorges Dam failure up to 99.8%. Thousands of houses have been washed out into the South China Sea. China continues to receive the 57th day of black and the damage is extremely heavy. Ladies and gentlemen, at 5.15 am, local time today, on China Central Television, CCTV broadcast a weather forecast and in this forecast, the Center for Meteorological Forecasting according to the Fuoc Central Hydrology Department, floods, earthquakes, landslides, flash floods and tsunamis are forecast to continue pouring down 27 southern provinces and cities of China in the next few days. Especially more on weekends, making China's sky gray and overcast now even darker. According to Beijing's Disaster Prevention and Control Administration, yesterday, torrential rain along with thunder and lightning lasting for 11 hours affected more than 19 million people in cities such as Wuhan and Hubei. Hunan, Anhui, Zhejiang, Guangdong, and Guangxi suffered heavy damage. Yesterday, China also recorded turbo thunderstorms that appeared in many places, leading to the country's national electricity system being knocked down. The entire two-thirds of China's territory is in the dark, only the capital Beijing has electricity. However, it only lasted 15 minutes, then even the Tiananmen Square lost power, leaving the streets of China dark. Many cities such as Wuhan, Guangdong, and Guangxi did not have a single person because of thunder and lightning, floods and power outages poured into China, making Xi Jinping's government unable to eat and sleep well. However, the Chinese Navy still ignored all despite everything to launch missiles and fire live ammunition in the East Sea close to Vietnam's home Sarkopelago, making countries in the region as well as communities around the world extremely pressing. Many people think that, if the government of Mr. Xi Jinping is still greedy like this, it is likely that the god of thunder, lightning, as well as Mother Nature, God will continue to inflict painful blows on him, his government. And it is likely that the Chinese Communist Party will be wiped out and China will be greatly disadvantaged if Xi Jinping's government does not change its behavior. Ladies and gentlemen, it can be said that China is going through the worst days in its history. According to experts who study China's economic, political, social and historical situation, there have not been a year since Mao Zedong, Jiang Zemin and Hu Jintao. As sad and dark as 2022 that the Xi Jinping government is suffering. At the beginning of the year, the COVID-19 epidemic raged in Wuhan City and 31 other provinces and cities of China, causing Beijing to struggle. China is the focus of the epidemic, also the focus of all attention, but pay attention that this is the prevention of the COVID-19 epidemic that the Chinese side is spreading to many countries around the world. As of now, heavy rains, high winds, and floods have continuously occurred in 28 southern provinces of China, causing the damage to be immeasurable in money. However, it is a strange thing that although China is facing many bad omens, Xi soldiers still send troops to shoot live bullets and launch missiles in the South China Sea to threaten countries in the region. In addition, Beijing soldiers also go to quarrel and fight with some countries in the border area. Bad things, Belgium on the Chinese side do not know how to live the last few months of the Chinese year. 
Because if people don't think they have changed their behavior, it is likely that the last months of the Chinese year will be ruined by the wrong things they have done to the world. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a great absurdity on the Chinese side that causes grievous crimes against humanity. But recently in Beijing, Xi Jinping personally called on more than 200 countries and territories on this planet to donate money and material to China. Because the country is suffering the harsh natural consequences that God has been inflicting on Beijing in recent months. He promised countries around the world that the money that countries sponsor and support for China will use all 100% of that money for relief and rescue for the people of China, not spend it. However, a reliable source revealed that Mr. Xi had used money from a number of countries in the region and ASEAN to sponsor, including Vietnam, which donated you Sony $100,000 to build advanced ships out into the South China Sea. In addition, he also built two more warships and an aircraft carrier that is set to be the most powerful of the Chinese Navy and will be launched in 2023. Where does this money come from? This money is he extracted from the funds that countries around the world support the Chinese floods. That is why observers urge communities around the world not to give money and material support to China, because those money flows do not reach the people affected by the floods that his government brings. That money to invest in the military. And once China's military is strong, they are very extravagant and treacherous. Therefore, we must be very vigilant and careful not to give money and material to China anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a very new news about China's floods when the China Morning Post, one of China's newspapers, at dawn this morning, published an article about the massive floods that are happening. Flows into China's Three Gorges Dam Reservoir, causing serious damage to the entire Yangtze River system. Chinese newspaper said. The reservoir of the Three Gorges Dam in China's Hubei province is witnessing the third flood on the Yangtze River in 2022. This is the largest flood in history to pour into this reservoir in the past 100 years. The Chinese newspaper said that at 8.30 p.m. Yesterday, the flow rate into the reservoir was at 61,000 cubic meters per second. This is the largest discharge in history that the Three Gorges Reservoir has ever witnessed. Three floodgates of the Three Gorges Dam were opened at dawn the previous day, but still not enough for the flow of water. Therefore, last night, China's Dike Protection Force continued to let the Three Gorges Dam open four more outlets. Thus, the total number of discharge gates that this dam is opening is seven gates and it is operating at full capacity 24 days and nights, but it still cannot avoid large floods. That's why the head of the Communist Party of China, Mr. Xi Jinping, ordered the authorities of the Three Gorges Dam to break down three dikes of the Yangtze tributary to save cities like Wuhan, Ho Shimin City and Wuhan. South, Hubei, Sichuan and Anhui avoid severe flooding. Because these provinces in recent times have been submerged in water up to 3 meters and 4 meters. And yesterday, the China Morning Post newspaper provided us with pictures to tell us that China's dike-breaking functional forces sent excavators, bulldozers, and even bombs to break down three dikes belonging to China. Yangtze tributary, and when it burst, it will engulf several villages as well as houses. Currently, the damage to crops is extremely heavy. Up to 195 houses have been swept away and more than 1,000 houses have been severely damaged. All cars, refrigerators, Rice cookers, televisions were drifted into the Yangtze River, and people took this opportunity to set up fishing nets to retrieve the spoils. Earlier on the same day, the Waihe River Commission, one of China's fourth largest rivers under the country's Ministry of Water Resources, raised the flood control response level from 4 to 3, which is a high alert level. Best. The water level measured at Hawaii's unhydrological station at Hawaii Hoflo reached 27 meters at 6 m and that is one of the alarming water levels. The Department of Hydrology, Hawaii River Commission declared a state of emergency and said that people need to evacuate urgently. The Waihe River of China is known as one of the fourth largest rivers of China after the Yangtze River and the Mekong River. It has a length of more than 1,000 kilometers, is one of the main rivers of China flowing through the eastern region of the country. Between the Yangtze River and the Yellow River, do not mistake the Yellow River and the Waihe River as one. These two rivers have similar names, but they are actually two separate rivers. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the influence of heavy rain, 
The flow from the Yellow River continues to increase and the discharge of Namshao Hydrological Station reaches 3,000 cubic meters per second. By the evening of the previous day, the river's water flow increased to dizzying levels and the risk of a warning of the Three Gorges Dam breaking up to 99%. Ladies and gentlemen, there is supposedly very new news about flooding in Hajong, and this news is said to be unprecedented good news. According to the National Hydrometeorological Center, the rainy season in Hajong has ended, and the weather in Hajong is sunny again. The weather is said to be very nice. However, the situation of heavy rain and high winds in Hajong has flooded some places and devastated some areas. Hajong is urgently for overcoming the consequences of natural disasters and stabilizing people's lives. Again, in Hajong province, there have been heavy rains, pipe floods, landslides, serious flooding, heavy damage to people and people's houses, infrastructure works, affecting production, especially districts such as Hong Su Fai, BA Simi and especially Hajong City. The General Department of Natural Disaster Prevention and Control, Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development has just said that, according to a quick report of Hajong Province, as of 6 am yesterday, the rain and floods have stopped and the beautiful weather has returned to the city. This whole province. Thus, up to the present time, the rain and floods have completely stopped in Hajong Province and in the whole territory of Vietnam. The weather is very beautiful. On the Chinese side, it is forecasted that floods and gusts of wind will still rain heavily in the following days. This has been said by the National Hydrometeorological Forecasting Agency. The heavy rainstorm in the north has ended and the heat is returning. According to the National Center for Hydrometeorological Forecasting, the heat will return to the north from the day before yesterday, and it is forecasted to continue in the next few days, even through to the next month. Therefore, there will be no more rain like the past few days. The Chinese site is still suffering from turbo rains and the river water in the Yangtze River. The Mekong River and the Yellow River is rising, and developments related to the above situations. We will keep you updated with the next newsletter. And today's program we would like to pause here. Wishing you a day full of health and happiness. Best regards and see you soon. That concludes today's news. Thank you and all of you for paying attention. Please like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notification to receive the fastest and most accurate update from 22 Hour channel. Goodbye and see you in the upcoming video.